And this plan would put thousands more back to work. It would help us remain competitive with countries in Europe and Asia that have already invested heavily in projects like high-speed railroads. But one thing we can do next week is end a month-long standoff on a small business jobs bill that's been held up in the Senate by a partisan minority. I realize there are plenty of issues in Washington where people of good faith simply disagree on principle. This should not and is not one of those issues. This is a bill that does two main things. It gives small business owners tax cuts and it helps them get loans. It will eliminate capital gains taxes for key investments in one million small businesses. It will provide incentives to invest and create jobs for four million small businesses. It will more than double the amount some small business owners can borrow to grow their companies. It's a bill that's paid for, a bill that won't add to the deficit. It has been written by Democrats and Republicans. It's a bill that's been praised by the Chamber of Commerce. And yet a minority of Republican senators have been using legislative tactics to prevent the bill from even getting to a vote. Now, I was pleased to see that yesterday, uh, Republican Senator George Voinovich of Ohio said he would refuse to support this blockade any longer. Senator Voinovich said, this country is really hurting and we don't have time anymore to play games. I could not agree more.